In today's spectacular landscape photography vlog, not only do we go to our very first Nova Scotian shoot right here in Atlantic Canada, but I'm going to show you how to get one million Instagram followers. Oh. Yeah. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Caffin, you don't have one million Instagram followers. Well, have you seen this? And that's that's legit right there now the very first step in getting a killer shot just to break Instagram is you need to visit an iconic location like Peggy's Cove like Peggy's Cove <laughs> what are you laughing at one of the reasons we moved to Atlantic Canada is because people kept telling us that Nova Scotia had the friendliest locals. So let's try my theory out. Uh, hi, nice jacket there. You've got some good taste in uh, Max. I uh, just wondered what the restaurant's like. Is the, is the food any good? Uh, yeah, I think we've made a mistake moving here, love. It's not a good start, is it? So there is the most famous lighthouse in Canada, I would say. Uh, what I find interesting is it's the same lighthouse that you'll see anywhere in Canada. Uh, I remember shooting the Sheringham Point lighthouse near Souk on Vancouver Island. It looks exactly the same. I think what sets this one apart is the area around it. It's these beautiful cliffs, these rock formations, that open ocean, and of course this very, very colourful lichen subscribe you get it like and subscribe so what i've opted to do <laughs> is the same thing that everybody else does i mean there's really no original shot that you can get of the lighthouse at peggy's cove what will set it apart is the light or you know the the waves or whatever conditions you've got and right now it's a it's a blue sky day when we got here with these really dark and sort of moody clouds and I was thinking oh I'm gonna get a shot and now it, they've just disappeared and we've got a boring blue sky so I have to work with what I've got so what can I do to try and set this shot apart well everyone uses this lovely little pond here as a reflexion and of course I will do that but I think I've timed it right because this little pond has this beautiful green algae that's growing up. It's, it's super sort of almost neon bright and I really like that. So in the reflection, I want to try and balance out the reflected lighthouse in the pond, but also cut through that reflection a little bit with the polarizer, the circular polarizer and feature a lot of that color and texture because it's a really nice feature. And then the other thing I want to do if we hang around long enough, and I think we will, is come back after dark at night and try and get a shot of the light coming out at the top of the lighthouse. And it's really not, it's not going to be a huge beam by the looks of things. It just looks like a very sort of soft orange light. And try and get a nice little nightscape of this, maybe with a few stars. So for now, should we um, just take a test shot and then go and get that lobster dinner that we talked about? Yeah. yeah? Maybe a beer or two. Some crabs. There's a bit of crab in this actually. I might put that in my foreground. I'll show you. <laughs> Those delicious crab's legs would prove to be instrumental in creating a shot worthy of a million Instagram followers. You probably already know that I can't stand this kind of picture postcard light. If I was going to break Instagram, I'd need to try harder than this. But first, it was time for some refreshment. Is the lobster boiled alive? Yes. It is. Yeah, it's got a lot of juice. Okay. Do you want to be responsible for a, a lobster being boiled alive? Were you going to be responsible for your halibut? Well, it wasn't boiled alive. It was bashed in the head. There's no other way to do it, really, than to cook it 
but it's, it's live because if it's dead, it's, it's not edible anymore. Yeah, because it's poison. Do they yes. Have poison? Yes. So you Can't you chop the heads off? No, no. <laughs> Well, who am I to judge? I mean, I can't even drink a beer without getting all weird and pervy about it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it was a good beverage, though. If you're watching uh, Tatamagoosh Brewing Company, get in touch. After a few agonising minutes of being boiled alive, Amanda's plate of cruelty and shame arrived, so she began tucking into the tasty sweet meat. Can you taste its screams? Um, Because it was boiled alive. I'm sorry, Sebastian. How's it taste? How does it tears taste? And then things got revolting. Oh, I don't want to eat <laughs> Yes, I'm glad that I went for the baked halibut. Well, I am quite full of halibut dinner and beer. And uh, I guess you're not that full from the lobster. You didn't really eat much, did you? No, diarrhea itself. That was the row. It was its children. I couldn't do it. Falling out of its in its disgusting. I'll never do it again. Anyway, so we're back down at the lighthouse and uh, not that much in the way of clouds. I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. So I reckon my only chance of a good shot now is after it's gone dark or blue hour. Probably once it's fully dark or almost dark. And then I'll try and get that nighttime shot with a few stars behind the lighthouse there. It'd be so cool if I could get some stars reflected in that pond but it's still a gorgeous day and i'm quite happy to be here finally in atlantic canada looking at this beautiful iconic canadian scene all right what i think i'll do is i'll show you this completely unoriginal composition that i framed up i'll do this now because when i come back later in the dark i might not be able to show you that it might be too dark to show you the back of the camera but I'll, I'll, so I'll show you this now on the back of the camera during this sunset light and uh, just brace yourself for the most original composition of Peggy's Cove you've ever seen have a look at this let's see there's the lighthouse just reflected in that pool there that's me shot don't move here and turn into Adam all right yeah I don't want to I don't want to be grumpton let me go back I'll, I'll do I'll do a better job Sorry, Grumpton, <laughs> you know, it's true. Actually, there's a little bit of colour in the sky there, a little bit of pink, but not, you know, not so much that I'm uh, you know, super excited about it. But anyway, so what I'm thinking is, let's brighten that up a bit. When I come back, if I, if I come back late enough, I'm getting a bit of negative space over here on the right. So I've got the lighthouse pushed over to the left. I could even give it a bit more uh, space over on the right and just push the, the lighthouse onto this column here that you can see in my grid. I might do that, but it all depends on what happens when I come back later and it's dark or, or almost dark. And there's hopefully a few stars twinkling in the sky, which I can get to reflect in that little pond there. And like I said, I'm doubtful that there'll be much of a beam of light coming from the actual lighthouse but at least if there's a nice warm glow like even now I can see a little bit of a glow in the uh, the lighthouse there so at least if there's something it'll be interesting on the left and then on the right I'll just make the interest be the stars and the reflection of the stars at least that's my idea anyway so it's always good to have an idea when you come out for a shoot it's always good to sort of have a bit of a plan have a bit of a goal and try and aim for that based on what nature gives you with the weather and the circumstances well that's what i've got today i've got clear skies so stars it is If I was going to break Instagram, I'd have to try even harder. I could always get Amanda to put on a yellow jacket and stand just a little bit off centre, but I just wasn't feeling that douchey. Right, well I think I'll call it quits. That was the best of the light, and it wasn't spectacular, so I think we'll head back to the camper, have a bit of a nap, and then uh, come back when the stars are shining. What do you think, love? I'll probably go to bed. You're not going to come back with me? 
Well, who's going to be my wave watcher? Make sure I don't get swept out. That's why you get paid the big bucks. I haven't been paid once. She said, I haven't been paid once. That's, that's the English translation. <laughs> just first. So we're just almost back to the camper. And then this is that shot that I mentioned earlier, which has got this lovely curving S, well, it's almost like a snaking S curve that goes, leads your eye straight towards the, uh, the lighthouse there. Like I said, it, it's man-made, it's concrete. It, you know, it'd be nice if it was like mossy planks or something like that, but it is what it is. And that's what I've got to work with. And the light is really nice right now. And I've just set my white balance to be a little bit bluer, a little bit cooler than is natural. I really like the color of this. Let me show you the back of the camera. Yeah, so here you can see this cool little snaking trail. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna crop that off and have this almost a square. It's actually gonna be closer to a four by five, but a square will definitely work too. And I've just slapped this right in the center of the frame. And the reason why I've done that is because I'll just, ease this off a little bit. If I turn it over here, you can see this huge uh, walkway that they've built, this massive deck, which is, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of cool because then, you know, everyone can come and use this and it's a big old space and it's, it's very safe, but compositionally, I'd rather it wasn't there. I'd rather it was somewhere over there. And then I could have, I could have used more of this leading line and gone for a horizontal shot, but this is what I've got. And I'll just darken this down a little bit. You should be able to see that lovely color on the horizon there. So I'll just get that shot. And the lighthouse itself, hopefully you'll see it. There you go. It's got that very interesting hot red glow that you can see come around. Amanda's just walking into my shot. Oh, that's, that's great love, thanks for that. Yeah, cheers. Things were looking up. I was getting closer to making a shot worthy of a million Instagram followers. But even with that artificial white balance change, it was still looking a little too real. However, Amanda's running gave me a totally unique and creative idea that I could try later when it got dark. You're actually really good at that. So I think later on when I come back to do that star shot at night, you can put a headlamp on you and you can run up and down that trail and just... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I'm serious. I'm so out of breath. Well, it'd be good for you though. And I'll get a really good shot. And you'll get a free workout deal. We were just about to head back to the camper and then I found this little composition. Anyway, so if this shot turns out any good... Here's the shot. That's my line. Yep. I don't do massive burps, do I? And steal your thunder. No, but you do massive toots. Um, anyway, here's the shot. <laughs> Rather than fight the presence of the boardwalk, I decided to just embrace it and make it a feature because you never know if Tourism Nova Scotia is watching. Get in touch. Well, that was an added bonus. I wasn't expecting that. That's yeah. quite nice. It's really pretty. Yeah. So I'll give you a good price on that, that shot of you. A special discount. Put it in my room. You haven't got a room yet, but you will have. <laughs> <laughs> you will have when we finished our uh, renovation. If you haven't checked it out yet, new channel, Hardcastle Towers. I think you'll like it. But I think so far, as our very first shoot in our new home, Nova Scotia, it went quite well. Yeah, it's been a special day. That lobster wasn't very special, though, was it? No. I want to forget about that. If I could erase it from my memory, I would. Do you know, this would be a brilliant place. To get married. For me to do some workshops next year, I think. Or maybe even this year, you never know. Everyone knows they're married anyway. Well, but we can do it again, don't we do it yearly? You don't, you don't do it yearly, love, it's a one-off. 
No. If you marry me, you're doing it yearly. <laughs> There's no way. It's in the contract. There's absolutely no, no way. Right, every six months. Right, let's get back to the camper and maybe you'll stay in bed <laughs> and I'll just come back out on my own. <laughs> but once we were in the camper, my energy was fading. All right, I'm back in the camper now, just checking my emails and trying to drum up the energy to go back out there and try and get that night shot. I'm so tired. I'm really sleepy. It's probably not going to be worth it, is it? No. Just have a, just have a nap. Just a little, just a little nap. Wake up! Is it worth it? Is it worth me going down there? I'm gonna get up and go. Now I'll pack up me stuff and get back on the trail. <laughs> get up at four, shoot the sunrise. That's the trouble with spring. It's sunsets nine o'clock, sunrise four a.m. Are you coming, love? No, I just took my pants off. I need you to be my light painter. I'm not getting out. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Would I ever get this Instagram breaking shot? So I'm back down at the lighthouse. I'm not gonna lie, it, it doesn't look great. And you probably can't see, all you can see is probably like a red light in the distance, but the lighthouse itself and the rocks around it don't look that great because of you might just be able to see just behind me the boardwalk that they've built has so many lights on it that it's just casting so many shadows you know like straight lines of all the uh, the guard rails and the columns and stuff and it just doesn't look that pretty i think i need to come back here on a misty night imagine mist all around the lighthouse there and then that red light just creating beams out in the mist I think then I could probably get a good shot, but this is what I've got tonight. Oh, that is awful. Um, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> it's obvious now. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the gods of Photoshop, I pronounce this crappy image Gramworthy. Yeah, just paste in a Star trek Milky Way image, courtesy of Michael Shane Bloom. Thanks, mate. Drop in a fake reflection. Oh, and remember those crab's legs from earlier? Yeah, put those in for authenticity. A little bit of fake fog, some artificial light beams, and a bit of desaturation, you know, just to keep it real. Now, if you want to learn how to process your images in a slightly more tasteful manner, check out my best-selling course, Photoshop for morons. There's a link in the description down there. So if you skipped ahead and you just want to know how to get 1 million Instagram followers, the truth is you've basically just got to be fake as fuck.